What's up, y'all? It's Lynn, and I'm back on the scene with another video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thanks for watching. Please ignore my period pimple. <laughs> Um, hit that subscribe button, y'all, so you won't miss out on anything I post. And to my originals, hey, lady beans, y'all already know. So, today I just wanted to come on here to do an unwind with me and chit-chat. I just got off work, so I'm about to unwind and let y'all see what I do when I, uh, get in the house from work. Let me hold. Alright, so, I already done got the kids. Um, they currently in aftercare. And I normally... Give me a little a bit of this, and then we gonna get into a chit chat, you guys. So, yes, I do smoke marijuana. Um, no, I'm not a heavy smoker, y'all. I'm a moderate smoker. Um, it just calms me down. It gives me chill vibes. It relaxes me. It puts me where I need to be. So, that's what I do. Um, as soon as I get up in the gym, I ain't gonna lie. Like, as soon as I get up in the house, like, I be like, oh my God, I gotta relax. After dealing with people and just customers all day long. Y'all know, work at Amazon, um, in a returns department, so it's a lot. Oh, y'all call it hub counter, whatever the case might be. That's where I work at. But today I came in, a package is left for me on my bed, so. I think this one of my Shein orders. I got so many orders, y'all. So I'm about to go through this. Um, Javon's birthday is coming up. My son, he's about to be 14 years old. So I hope this is birthday outfit that I ordered. Um, if not, then this probably gonna come on the next order. Like I literally order so much stuff, y'all. Like it's crazy. <laughs> so I wanna, um, I wanna give some advice to people that needs like um motivation like how how do I stay motivated after losing over 200 pounds um first things first y'all wake up early wake up early start your day early because I feel like it's y'all know the saying early bird get the worm early bird do get the worm like wake up with a clear mind First things first, of course you wanna pray and then you wanna me personally I speak a lot of positive things in my life in the morning. So I'll wake up and I'll be like, I can do it. I, I will do it. I'm today is gonna to be a great day. I'm gonna take on the world. I'm not gonna let anything negative mess up my day or like things like that. That's what helps me, y'all. I'm, I'm really like a mental person, so I do a lot of praying, 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 and that literally helps me throughout my day. Um, and on the days that I'm feeling unmotivated, I just literally, I, I just remember why I started this whole journey from the beginning. Because I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm not motivated every day. Every day I don't want to go to the gym. Every day I don't want to drink water. Like, every day I don't want to eat high protein meals. So, I literally have to push myself. And I know a lot of other people um, might feel a sense. Damn. I ordered me some underwears. Look how big these underwears is. I'm so mad. This is a 2X. Bro, it's no way. I cannot fit these. These are too big. Bro. Yeah, that just blew me. Um, Thank God I got a mom. <laughs> I can just give them to my mom. Uh, she like big underwear. It's like that. Me personally, I don't. But, um. Like I was saying, y'all, uh, I just remember, like, why I started the journey, and that's what it makes me get up and go. I know for a fact I don't want to gain any weight back. I know for a fact I don't want to, um, like, go back into old habits, doing things that I'm not supposed to be doing, eating things I'm not supposed to be eating. I know for sure I don't want that route anymore, so... That's literally uh what pushes me. Look at this shirt I got for my son, y'all. It say don't talk to strangers. This is so cute and cool. But um 
Yeah, y'all, y'all gotta, you gotta push yourself. You gotta push yourself, like, because if you ain't going, like, nobody else is going to get up and make you do anything that you don't want to do. It. Everything starts with you. And I always tell everybody that, like, the reason why I'm so successful in my weight loss journey thus far is because I pushed me, like, I believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell myself, Lane, you can do this. Lane, you will do this. Like, nobody else told me get off my fat ass but me. I was tired. I said, it's time to get off my fat ass. I'm tired of being big. I'm tired of not having a job. I'm tired of not going anywhere. I'm tired of sitting in the house every day. Like, I'm tired. Look, this is a shirt. One of the shirts that I want him to wear. I think I'm going to wear this one. But, yeah, this is cute. It's giving a little Burberry dupe, <laughs> but that's all right. I like it, but um, yeah, nobody told uh, Lane to do anything, y'all. I really got off my own ass, and to be honest, like I always say in every video, my kids gave me that, like they didn't make me get up, but they did give me that push, you know what I'm saying? Because when I looked at them, I'm like, every time I look at my kids, it makes me want to go 10 times harder. Like, I just feel like I need so much more because I got two kids that's depending on me. I can't, I can't give up. I can't settle for less. I can't accept the bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? Like, I apply pressure to my own self, if that makes any sense. I am from D.C., y'all. So, I do talk different. Like, our slang and stuff is different. But if you, if you get me, then you get me. You know what I'm saying? Like, get up. Like, don't let nobody keep you don't matter of fact you don't keep yourself in one space grow like life is so short like be here today gone tomorrow literally so i just feel like apply that pressure like go after go after what you want to go after don't let nobody stop you don't let nobody tell you no you can't do it none of that shit because you can you know what i'm saying like that's literally all to it. Everything is a mindset thing. Everything starts up here. Our brain controls us. Our brain tells us what to do. Our brain controls our mood. Our everything. Like everything. So if you're you're strong up here, you'll be good. Like I'm I am mentally strong. Um, I never used to be like this, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Uh it took me a minute to get like to this point in my life. Um and now that I'm here, like, I'm really unstoppable. Like, can't nobody stop me from doing nothing that I want to do. I have so much to accomplish. I, I'm just literally getting started. Like, I'm getting started. I'm not done at all. I got so much stuff I want to do and that I am going to do. I want to travel. Like, I never really traveled. I have been, like, out of D.C. a couple of times. I went to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, New York and all stuff like that, but I want to get on the plane. I never got on the plane before because I was scared. Now I'm not scared anymore, and I want to jump out there and get on the plane. Like, see how it is to get on the plane. So, yeah, I got this other shirt, y'all. Pluto little shirt. I just wanted to get my son some t shirts. He loves little graphic t shirts. So, yeah, but. Y'all, don't look for nobody else to motivate you. You gotta honestly motivate yourself because once you depend on somebody else to, like once you let somebody else dictate your happiness, everything lies in their hand. They have control over everything, like your mind, your body, everything, because you look for that, you look for everything in that one person. I was never like that, never. I look for happiness within myself. I know how to make my own self happy. I spoil you my own self. So if anybody come in my life and able to spoil you me or my kids, that's considered extra. Cause I literally do everything for us. I'm a single mom, y'all. So y'all know. Single moms rock. Um God bless me with a girlfriend. So uh you know, I have her in my life now, but before her it wasn't like that. For thirteen years it was just me and my kids. <coughs> Them, but realness i did give me some more jeans i hope i can fit these it's the same size the other ones a uh, 2x a 2x is, is considered a um a 2x is considered a 18 machine so yeah i'm about to try these on i'm scared they look real small i ain't gonna lie <laughs>
Yes, I know. And I'm not even going to turn around because y'all can see my whole booty is out. But yeah. And no, I'm not going to send these jeans to back because I'm still losing weight and I'm going to be able to fit them. So I'm just going to keep them. <clears throat> some jeans have more stretch than other jeans, some don't. That's the thing with um, Shein. And because it's like a China based uh, company, y'all know most of the China clothes run um, smaller than US. So, yeah. So I'm kind of disappointed because I actually like them jeans. So it's like, ugh. Like, why are you don't fit? And it was on sale on the Shein site for like $8 that day when I ordered this stuff. But it's cool. I'm going to just. Um, I'm gonna just keep them, of course, and buy, um, and buy some more. But when I buy my next pair of jeans, I buy, I'm gonna be reading the description part so I can see like if they high and stretch. Cause some jeans don't have no stretch, and you do have to end up going a size bigger because um, there's no stretch to it. But yeah, I bought these little face uh, cleanser things, y'all. I'm very these little cute little thingies. I do got the electric one, but I wanted the handheld ones as well. I got a bag of these. These are like 58 cents on Shane. That's why I can't stop ordering on Shane because stuff is so affordable. Like, I think it's another shirt for my son. Is it? Yeah, it's another shirt. I told y'all, I went crazy with the shirts for my baby. I got him another shirt. He's gonna be like, oh my God, mom. Yes, I'm gonna show birthday, baby. Even though I still don't know y'all what to do for him. Like, my son, he's a very easy child to please. Like, he's he like me. You don't have to do a lot. You don't have to spend a lot of money. It's, it's really like, it comes from the heart. That's how I know I'm raising him the right way. So, yeah. I figure it out. I ain't never been his last minute, but hey. Better late than never. I got Maya a Halloween dress. Cause I want to take my girl out trick or treating. Isn't it so cute, y'all? Love my dog. It's a just boo Halloween. <laughs> so that's for Mama. When I stop, I think about everybody. In the last order, I had bought Mom something, and these are uh, some jeans that I bought him. And I hope he can fit these because he is a. I'm gonna be mad if he can't fit these jeans. This size is this is an extra, extra large. And I like the these. And he a big boy. I hope he can fit these. Please let my son fit the jeans. <sighs> this one and the other one. I'm gonna be sad. I gotta send this stuff back. I don't like sending stuff back because. He is, and I'm not saying anybody's looking at That's not on the truth. Got the little rip details in them. I like these a lot. So I just hope you can fit them. I'm gonna let him try it on. Guys, the next day, the unwind then turned into a vlog. So, vlog it is. Squash the unwind. But yeah, y'all, currently getting dressed. Um, Today, I got a eye doctor's appointment. Um, for all who don't know, I do wear glasses, so I gotta have to put my eyes check and get some new glasses. I'm probably not gonna get my new glasses today. Probably gonna put an order in for it after they check my eyes. But yeah, and then I'm gonna drop the kids off at school, and then I'm gonna head to my I don't know if that was, and I'm gonna head to my appointment like around nine. So I'll be back, guys. Ah, uh, y'all, I'm dropping the kids off to school and voiceover time because sometimes the conversation with the kids get real in the morning, okay? Like, yeah, I be giving it to my kids straight, no chaser. They already know what type of mama they got, but it's not for everybody. So, yeah, dropping them off to school is not far from my house. My kids just spoil you, and if I got time, I do. Drive them to school instead of letting them walk. So, yeah, that's our little thing we do in the morning. Talk, vibe, play the music, and drop their butts off. Now it's time to go to my appointment. 
And I'm so happy to not be driving, y'all. I actually get exhausted from driving. And with my insurance, we get transportation, free lifts. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Now, y'all, I do wear glasses. I've been wearing them all my life. Of course, y'all don't send me in a video because I don't like to wear glasses. But my eyes is not getting, like, good. And I know the effects it'll have on me in the long run if I don't start to wear my glasses again. But, yeah, at this point, I was in the doctor's office. I took my lashes off. Y'all, they dilated my freaking pupils. Pupils. I got tongue twisted. <laughs> they dilated my pupils, and I was so scared. Like, I hate... When my vision, like, I, I can't, uh-uh. Like, why is my eyes blurry? Like, I understand. But I do know why they was blurry, but it just made me scared. Can't see nothing Um, close up. Now I'm going home. They gave me these shades. I think I look cool. <laughs> I'm chilling in the back of the lift. And I was hungry, so I ordered me some, by Ubi eats me some um, Popeye's sweet chili wings. This is my first time tasting them. And I only ate like two y'all and I was completely full. I'm not gonna lie. The damn phone just dropped, but yeah, y'all know I get full super, super quick. I think this is like a six piece and I literally ate two. I had fries as well. And I believe I ate five French fries and two of these uh wings and here I go try and bite into the chicken I cannot bite into the chicken because I have braces and I forget that I have braces and I attempt to bite in that's why the hell I be breaking my damn brackets and I get mad when I get charged extra because they gotta fix the damn brackets but yeah y'all gonna see how much I ate of the chicken because I did take a little picture of it if it wanna show right but if it didn't I did tell y'all how many I ate so yeah So y'all, this is how I got to ride around today. And I gotta go to work like this because my eyes are sensitive to the light. So I just came from the Audis. Now I gotta head to the CVS to get my mom medicine then I can finally go to work. I had to go back to the Audis because the kids ate all the bread. We ain't had no bread in the house. And tonight I'm making a tuna melt. So I've been wanting tuna melts for the past couple of days. So yeah, finally can make my tuna melts. And yeah, I'll catch y'all uh, at the CVS. All right, at the CVS. Let's get some stuff. So made it to the CVS. I'm just making my way to the back to pick up my mom's medicine she said that it should already be ready so i shouldn't have to wait i'm hoping i ain't have to wait oh my god i gotta wait look at this shit look a line full of people i cannot believe it like mom why you set me up like this like since you told me it was not gonna be it was gonna be quick like why am i waiting and you know i gotta go to work but that's my mom, I love her, so I don't mind. People wasn't there complaining, so I was just trying to figure out what everybody was complaining about. And the sign said that they was backed up. So people was like, they didn't think medicine. They was going off. I got my mama's though, so that's all that matters. <laughs> I got her meds, and I'm going to take them back to Mama Shern or Mama Lee, and then go to work. Made it work, y'all. Right now, I'm going to secure my bag. I don't care what's going on. I'm gonna get up and go make some money. These kids ain't gonna feed themselves. And then I got some more chicken, y'all, at work. The sweet chili ones. <laughs> it wasn't that good. I had like two, and um, I was over it. They just wasn't hitting the day. I told y'all, when y'all eat the food, and my job is really a hit or miss. It really depends on who be in the kitchen working because everybody cannot cook. I'm sorry. And I'm real picky with food and what I choose to eat. So 
Yeah, I'm just not the type of person that's going to eat absolutely anything because I'm hungry and my kids are the same way. Like, they're not just going to go in the house and eat anything because they're hungry. They be wanting certain stuff. So, yeah, that's like mama, like kids, and I don't blame them. <laughs> Ooh, I got that shit on walk away video as fat and long. Now my favorite part of the day, clocking out and going home, y'all. I was so happy. As soon as I got in the house, I made them bomb tuna milk sandwiches I was telling y'all about. Yes, that's the kids' plate right there, y'all. And that's my new sandwich maker that I got from my job. Today was my first time using it, and it did its thing. Like, I love my little panini maker, whatever, sandwich maker, whatever, but... I told Jayana to try out and let me know how it tastes. Y'all know kids honest. Well, my kids honest. So, Jayana tried it, and she was like, Mom. I was like, what? She looked in my eyes, and she said, it's good, Mom. And when I tell you, Jayana sat and ate that sandwich in two minutes and said, can she have some more? I lied to you not. That's how I know I did not. Thing. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.